have a food haul for you i wanted to show you what i bought this week in terms of food shopping i've actually bought bits and bobs from other shops and as well as doing a big shop from tesco's this week so i thought i'd show you everything that i have bought for this week and normally i don't do a food shop every week it's just me by myself that eats most of this food so it kind of lasts me two weeks um if you're noticing some things when i do show you my food shop that i'm missing i buy all my apples and all my meat from costco the majority of it all comes from costco so i buy a lot of my chicken and a lot of my fruit from costco i only buy certain things um from like the big supermarkets i just find that if i have loads of meat in the freezer i don't need to buy as much in my food shop and it works out a little bit cheaper so i have so much of that in my freezer i have a lot of fish in my freezer at the moment as well so you won't see that in my food shop but you'll see the rest of the stuff like my other things i need to buy and stock up on and what i buy in terms of things that are good for ww and all that sort of stuff so if you want to see what i buy for a week to two weeks worth of shopping then keep watching so here is everything on my food shop it seems like a lot but a lot of it is veg and i've kind of spaced it out and not piled it on top of each other so you can see it better so i'm gonna start off with the meat related stuff like i said i have a lot of chicken in the freezer so i've bought um turkey breast mince which is two percent fat and i've bought this to make like chili corn carnies with because i'm trying to not do a lot of red meat so i have that i also have sausages which is the only like red meat i really eat apart from bacon and these are to make a toad in the hole one weekend with my boyfriend and i've done reduced fat sausages just because it's a little bit better for you and then the main sausages that i actually eat are these heck chicken italian sausages they're just like chip palatas and they are so so good when they're on offer i always stock up and buy loads of these and then i have a lot of fruit and veg i have loads of bananas because i have one of these every day for work um i bought some little satsumas again to just chuck in my bag for work because i try to avoid snacking on bad stuff at work because it's really easy to do that so we have satsumas we have brussels sprouts i haven't really had brussels sprouts and i want to try and actually make something with them and like them because they're quite a cheap veg and i just kind of want to see if i like them i have broccoli because i absolutely love broccoli i have baby corn as well because i love that these are like two of my staples with my dinners i have some red grapes because again great for snacking on especially when i'm at work and everything like that i have some strawberries they are open because i had them yesterday but these ones are really really nice from marx's and because of i do an online food shop i prefer to buy things like my strawberries and blueberries separately and these are the two shops i have near me at work i have a marx's and a waitrose so i also have some really big blueberries as well and i'm going to have this with yogurt and that on the weekend i have a melon this is more for like my boyfriend because he really likes melon and i'm going to try it i'm trying to get more into eating that because of when we go to france it's mostly just so much melon everywhere we have some brown flakes because i've run out and these are one of the lowest pointed brown flakes they're about three points for 30 grams which is quite a lot i have some peppers because i eat a lot of peppers if you follow me on instagram you'll know that most of my meals have peppers with them these are for my boyfriend they're like um potato slims um but what his family call them are called tatty scones and um he really likes it so i bought those for him then i have two different types of chopped tomatoes i have some finely chopped ones and then some slightly thicker ones to make um chili con carne and other stuff with one of my favorite snacks is pop popcorn and i love the proper corn brand i love their sweet and salty the chocolate one is really really good and i've never had their sea salt but i thought this would be a better alternative than crisps because it'll be somewhat salty but it'll be a lot less in points than crisps would be i have three tins of sweet corn because i use this a lot when i do couscous and other dishes so it just comes in handy to have loads of that in my cupboard we also have some vinegar because sometimes when i do have potatoes it's nice to have some vinegar and also my boyfriend really likes this something for me is peri peri salt i basically have this because purely for the fact of it adds so much flavor same as garlic salt i have garlic salt and i use this so much in cooking as well because it adds so much flavor this on a bit of broccoli is amazing i then have here i have um four greek yogurts these are the zero percent fat ones 
I just buy the Tesco brand because they're quite little in pots. If I show you, they're quite small as a pot. And I have those. And I'll have them with maybe some fruit. And then sometimes if you have it by itself, I actually have it with jam. And I really love having it with jam, to be fair. That's more like a treat than, say, um, having it with fruit. This jam I'm actually trying out because I usually have... Um, jam that my boyfriend's uncle makes but we won't be getting it this time when we go to france so i thought i'd try this out because this is the closest consistency to his jam as possible i also have the lightest philadelphia because i'm going to make a salmon and broccoli dish soon and i need light philadelphia i also have garlic cloves again for cooking i have some sourdough bread this is more for again my boyfriend um he actually suffers with crohn's disease so sourdough bread meant to be really really good for people who have Crohn's and their digestion system so I got that from Marks and Spencer's today we have two cream eggs um easter eggs because they were on offer and I just bought them for the fact of if I fancy chocolate one day I'd rather have that and divide it up and it'd be cheaper than having a bar I have some biscuits here as well just again if I want something sweet I can have like one of these and it's not that bad and they were on offer so I thought I'd stock up and keep them in my cupboard I have some Warburton's Bagel Fins. I think these are about three, four points, maybe five. I can't really remember. Um, they're not super, super high in points, but they're not super low in points. But they're the Fin Bagels. And I really love cinnamon and raisin bagels, but the big ones are about seven points each. So I bought these as a packet of six. And whatever I don't eat this week, I'll freeze. And then I can have as um, like a breakfast or something another week. I have some frozen peas because I wanted to use these to bulk out some recipes and everything. And then I have the steamed bags of cauliflower rice. These are really, really nice. It's just a bag of cauliflower rice that you just chuck in the microwave. I put a bit of salt and pepper with it and I wouldn't even think I was eating cauliflower rice. They taste really, really good. And then the last amount of stuff I have is like beverages. I basically stocked up on these purely for the fact that they were on offer. I either drink water squash or sparkling water i try not to touch too much fizzy it's very rare i have fizzy so i've got the pear blackcurrant and cherry um fruit mix and then i also have the kiwi and strawberry then we have the strawberry and watermelon which is really really good and then this one here which is peach and raspberry and basically i just like to have a few different variations of squash on hand so if i want something and i kind of fancy having fizzy i can mix this with some sparkling water and i'm kind of having fizzy and then i have two different types of almond milk here because i actually have a coffee machine just here i bought the almond breeze barista blend which basically is slightly higher in points than this but you only use a little bit of it and it's unsweetened and it just basically works better in a milk frother or if you're frothing up milk it works better than normal almond breeze so i have that for my coffees and then I have the normal unsweetened almond breeze for porridge, teas, and like um, cereal and stuff like that. So I have two different types of those. And you can get this one in Waitrose if you do want some. So that's everything I actually buy for my food shop. Um, it's a bit of a mixed variation of things. I like to stock up on certain stuff when they're on offer, as you can see. And I also just like to um, buy certain little things here and there as a little tree and have in moderation. Um, if you liked this and you want to see more, please let me know down below. I will film all my food hauls if you want. Um, if you want to see any other WW related content apart from what I eat in a day videos, then also let me know down below what kind of content you want to see while I'm doing WW. Um, I'm also very cosy right now because uh, it's cold outside. So please excuse the appearance. But um, yeah, if you want to see anything else, please do let me know. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because it lets me know if you like it. And I will see you all very soon for another video.